Hey, it's Doc Jen, and I just want to go over the basic setup for a deadlift, particularly using dumbbells today. Now, these dumbbells are actually from PRX. We have the entire set, basically, because we started with like 5 to 45, and my husband was like, that's just not heavy enough for me. So we went all the way up to 100. So definitely check out the dumbbells if you ever need some in-home. PRX is an incredible company, and I'm just going to drop the link for PRX below in the description so you can easily grab it. Now, when it comes to your deadlift, especially when you're using dumbbells, it's going to be very similar to how we set up a barbell, actually. Okay, but the thing about the weights is that you're able to move your arms, so you're not fixated in one position. So I'm going to grab my weights here. Now for the deadlift, you want to make sure that your feet are about hip width distance apart. You don't need them very far and your knees are going to be directly over your ankles. Okay. As we are starting, you want to make sure that your shoulder blades are pulled back. Okay. Not retracted this way, just a slight and gentle pinch into the armpit. A way that I like to think about this is that you have a pencil kind of between your arm and your armpit and you're just going to pinch it into place. So it's just a gentle kind of pinch here. Then we're going to let that hip come back. And really you can bend in your knees. We just don't want to be completely upright into a squat position. Okay. So allow those knees to bend just slightly, grab into the weight, pinch behind that armpit, and then you push the ground away. So this is a very important cue when it comes to deadlifts. Pinch into the armpits, coming down and notice that as I go down, my hips are going to lead the direction here and my thumbs are sliding along my pants and along my legs the entire way until I come down and I feel like I have no more range of motion. So this is the furthest that I can go. If I go anymore, I'm going to have to bend into my back. Okay. So a way to kind of avoid this is to stack the weights onto something higher. So ideally I'd put some books underneath my weights here a little bit, or I just start from a higher surface or from the dumbbell rack and I just pull the dumbbells from there because from here, it's just a little lower. I need to bend in my back, squeeze and pinch, and then I push. Okay. Luckily this weight isn't very heavy. Now again, hips lead the way pinch. And then my rib cage is going to follow my hips. So what that means is that as I come down, my rib cage is going to follow where my hips go. Okay, so it stays in a nice straight line here. There's a difference now between a Romanian deadlift and a regular deadlift. So we are doing a regular deadlift. So as I bend down and I come and the weights pass my knees, I allow my knees to come forward just a tiny bit, but my hips are still pretty far back. Okay, and then I push the ground away. Now, the reason I say push the ground away here is because as I stand, I don't want to think of pulling. So there's the, an idea of pulling off the ground and then there's the idea of pushing the ground away. When I pull, I use my back, I look up and my whole back is doing the work, not my legs. For a deadlift, I want my legs to do the work. So I want to push into the ground. And when I push, nothing is happening in my back. All it's doing is lifting as a result of the push. Now I don't hyperextend. I don't go into my back and I allow my glutes and my legs to do the work. So again, coming down, push the ground away, slide those weights and keep it in toward the body. If I have the weights out in front of me here, I make my low back have to work harder because now there's a bigger lever out in front of me. But if I keep the weight always near my body, this is the same as picking anything off the floor, a baby, a dog, pull it into you first. So first pull the weights towards you, pinch into the armpits, push the ground away and keep those arms touching the body the entire time. So bending down, push the ground away, bend down, push the ground away. And if you remember these cues, pinching behind the armpits, allowing the rib cage to follow the hips back and pushing the ground away, you're going to have much more success in those deadlifts. You're going to relieve the tension from the back and you're going to feel those glutes and hamstrings doing the work. 
If you love what you're learning, don't forget there's so much more that I have in store. So hit that subscribe button, check out the other videos so that you don't miss anything and you continue to learn and feel amazing within your body.